Hi everybody, I'm Elisa with ABC for Dance. This is lesson number 18 in our anatomy series and it's about lateral flexion of the spine. Just so you know, the spine is the only part of your body that can laterally flex, but when we're talking about our spine, remember we're talking about this much of our body. So it is a lot of our body. If you remember in previous lessons, we talked about all of our vertebra. The way our vertebra connect to each other, each one is a separate series of joints, and then they can also work together. Whenever we work one bone at a time or one piece at a time, we call it articulation. So we'll call spinal articulation any movement segmentally of our spine. One of the spinal articulations we've already done is flexion. And in flexion, when we flexed over or rounded forward, our spine is going one piece at a time to allow us to roll. What's happening is the muscles in the front of our body are going to shorten as we do that, which means the muscles in the back of our body have to lengthen to allow the movement to happen. So if we have a limitation in movement, sometimes it's from not having enough strength to create the movement, Sometimes it's not having enough strength to support the movement, but sometimes it's having too much tightness to allow the movement. Whatever happens on one side of our body, the opposite has to happen on the other side to allow it to happen. Then we also had spinal extension. So when we went into spinal extension, often just called arching back, what we found is the front of our body needs to lengthen and the back of our body needs to shorten. Now when we go into lateral flexing, which you know as side bending, we're going to find that one side is going to lengthen, one side is going to shorten. So I can laterally flex just my head. And some of you may have done this with a phone or something here, and you're just like trying to do something else. You're laterally flexing your neck or part of your spine. Laterally flexing the other way. I can also take my lateral flexion to come all the way along the length of my spine. And as I do this, the side that's going towards the floor right now is shortening. The side that's getting rounded up is lengthening. So that's my two sides. I can combine some spinal movements. I'm gonna just stand against my wall with my knees bent. And I'm going to flex my body forward. So now I've put myself in flexion that we've done before. And I'm gonna go into some lateral flexion. It changes the amount of movement that I have because now those joints all have to go in two different directions. So if I take just my lateral flexion, I have much more movement when I'm staying in that one plane of movement than when I combine two different movements. To explore some lateral flexion on your own, you can do what I just did, which is standing against a wall. Just bend your knees a little bit so that they're soft. And the first thing you want to do is just see what's your range of motion in lateral flexion and what do you feel? Do you feel something getting compressed here? Do you feel lengthening or stretching on the other side? What does your body feel like? Then let yourself go into flexion and see where is my range of motion changing? This is part of the reason it's so important to be well aligned during dance class, because otherwise we might be putting another movement in that we don't mean to, but it can be negatively affecting our range of motion that we want. So now I'm gonna go and do it laying on the floor, because on the floor I can't cheat too much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay on my back on the floor. I'm gonna put my feet against the wall. And the reason I'm putting my feet against the wall is because it's going to tell me if I start to hip hike or change anything. So I want to keep my feet against the wall and then go into lateral flexion and see what's my range of motion. Is it the same on both sides or is it different? What you want to watch for is to get farther, am I losing connection with the wall on one side? Or am I winding up going more sideways than up and over? We always want to feel the one side sliding down, one side sliding up, and feel kind of an arc shape. You don't want to try to feel a straight line. So that's a little bit about lateral flexion. We use it a lot when we dance. 
anytime we do a pull or um, a side bend of any sort, we're going into lateral flexion.